I'm going to tell you a little bit about my tech high and explain this for those who are more audio learners rather than reading it on the blog. Um, my tech high is amazing. It is limited to certain states and it does have sister companies so you want to look into it. I live in Utah and it's definitely in Utah so we love it. Um, basically what it is is it's it's a tool for people who homeschool but it gives you amazing flexibility. Um, There's so many benefits to My Tech High. So let me explain how it works. With My Tech High, you, you register, you, you go through the admission process um, online, and then you have a boundary school. So you have to have a local boundary school, and, the, and they'll give you a list of what's available. So we have like one in our area. That doesn't matter a whole lot, at least at this point with my girls being younger in elementary ages, um, but it does give us a place if we need to fill out any paperwork or anything and we need a boundary school, it gives us a school to put down. Um, so your boundary school, as kids get older, if they need to take like the SAT or ACT, anyhow, if they had to take a specific test or anything, they would go to that boundary school and they would have a proctored test on site. That's really the only reason you use the boundary school. Like I said, at my girls' ages, we don't, it's not really a thing, so we don't use it. Um, aside from the boundary school, that's kind of just like a formality, my tech high, depending on your student's grade will give will tell you you have to choose a certain number of classes just like you would have periods at high school or middle school um, so kindergarten it's less I think kindergarten for Bella last year was three classes plus homeroom uh, this year for both girls they have five classes plus homeroom so six classes and you can do a bonus an optional seventh class but if you do a seventh class you don't get the extra um, allowance the class allowance reimbursements for that class anything you buy for that class comes out of your tech allowance so let me explain the allowance the class reimbursements how that works kindergarten you have a two hundred and fifty dollar tech allowance Everything else, you get a $500 tech allowance because kindergarten's part time, right? It's less classes. So what your so $250 for kindergarten, $500 for all the others. What your tech allowance is for is to cover the general costs in order to homeschool your kids. So things for like laptops, computers, the cost of your internet, um, anything you have if you have specific tools, materials. Um, and there are some restrictions, for example, with electronics. If you buy a brand new computer or laptop, then it belongs to MyTechHigh for, I think, two years. So if you withdraw from MyTechHigh you know, within that time, you have to send them the computer or laptop or whatever. However, if you buy refurbished or used, then those are yours to keep. So from day one. Um, and then there are certain restrictions, things you can't, like you can't buy a cell phone, you can't, you can't buy certain things, and that's all on the MyTech High website. And they're really great to answer questions. If you have any questions, you can always ask them, or there are Facebook groups where you can ask these questions like, you know, did anybody get this reimbursed, does this work, things like that. So that's the tech allowance. That is a general over, overall for all the classes um, in order to do homeschool at home. Um, if you go over budget on any of your class individual class reimbursements, the that amount can be pulled from the tech allowance if you want. Uh, so tech allowance is kind of a catch-all in a way. Then your classes. So for each class, you have three options you can choose from. Option one is a My Tech High class. So with that option, it is literally like online school. My Tech High has their own classes, their own teachers. Um, there's no class reimbursement for that class because they will send you everything you need. Software, if you need like, you know, gadgets or materials for the class, if you need a subscription, for example, last year Addie did, my daughter Addie did the My Tech High Minecraft class for her tech class. And so with that, they gave it, they helped us walk us through a Canvas a, account, setting up her Canvas account. That's where all the assignments and everything were put on and they gave us a Minecraft education account. And so 
between the two, like they walked us through all that. So we got the, the Minecraft education account was free. Um, and, th and then she could log into Canvas and the lessons were in there given by the teacher, the MyTech High teacher. They put the lessons in there, the assignments, the any videos, slideshows, everything like that. Her grades, all that was posted with Canvas. So that would be a MyTech High class. Um, I didn't have to do anything other than help her on this end with tech, you know, tech or questions on the lessons, things like that. Your second option is a third party class. So a third party class means you are taking your child to someone else for them to teach them whatever class. And there are rules and restrictions there, like it has to be a certified, like an actual business, right? It's not just, you know, Susie next door or whatever. It's, they have to actually have a business. It has to be a classroom environment. So it doesn't work for one-on-one -on -one piano lessons, but if it was a music class where there was five to 20 kids in a class, that would work. Um, that's your third party. Now, third party classes, you have a $300 class allowance. That's what you can get reimbursed. With your third party classes, for example, last year, my two girls did gymnastics. We had a local gymnastics company here, a gym, and they offered classes and, and it was class format with multiple kids and qualified. So we did that for their PE class. Um, we So we paid for their tuition and then got an invoice from the third party provider, the gym, and submitted that to MyTech High and they reimbursed us up to the $300 per class. Um, that is your third party. And the, um, the third option is, cus is called custom built. Custom built is when you submit, and, and you do have to, let me just make this clear, when you're choosing these classes, except for the MyTech High one, because they already have all the class curriculum and all that, for the other two options, the third party and the custom built, you have to actually submit and get approved from MyTech High saying what you're going to do. So, the, and that's where like, if you submit something like, for third party, my daughter's gonna take piano lessons from this one person. My tech high might say, is it a one-on-one -on -one class or is it a group class? Is it owned by a business? So they would ask some questions before they would approve it or deny it. Um, and the same with custom built. So your custom built classes, what that means is, basically you say, I am going to, I'm gonna worry about the curriculum. And you, you would submit your your plans for that class. Like you might say, we are gonna use these apps, we are gonna use these workbooks, and we are gonna do these field trips or activities. And you submit that and they would approve or deny or, or they might make some adjustments to it. Um, I haven't had any problems with it and I've had some really good resources which you can find on my blog, a to z for moms.com. And that'll have a lot of resources and stuff that we've used on there. So feel free to go on and, and uh, reference some of those. So with the custom built, you have a class allowance of $225 per class. And that again is what you get reimbursed for. So you, what you can do is go, you purchase your workbooks. If you get a subscription to an app, there's some great apps out there. Um, things, some of our favorites are things like Reading Eggs and Math Seeds, uh, Adventure Academy, Hooked on Phonics. There's, there's just some really awesome subscriptions, some apps. If you want to get a monthly subscription box, like from Little Passports, Kiwi Crate, something like that, um, you can do those as well, as long as they follow with that class curriculum. Um, and so we, we do that and you, again, you purchase it, then you submit the receipt and My Tech High reimburses you. So that's how My Tech High works as far as the structure of it. I love it. You have all the flexibility of class options, you have the support where you need the support, and you have the flexibility and freedom in the areas you, you may not need as much support or, or uh, structure, so you can do your own thing. The, you get the reimbursement, so it's it's amazing. It really helps you feel like you're you can, you're doing all these homeschool things, and it's not costing you an arm and a leg. You're getting reimbursed for this stuff. Um, some of the requirements of my tech high. So obviously, depending on the grade and depending on the class option you choose, your parent involvement is gonna 
change. You're, you're my tech high class. If you choose that option, you, you don't have a whole lot of involvement because they have their own teacher, right? And they do the assignments, they do the lessons. You're just as a supporting role, right? Um, third party, again, you may not have a lot of involvement. You're dropped, like for our girls, we dropped them off at gymnastics and we picked them up. Um, other than encouraging them to practice or attending their little recitals and stuff, we didn't have a lot of responsibilities that we were we needed to do there. Um, custom built, you're going to have the most because custom built, you're saying, I'm going to do most of it. I'm going to do the lessons. I'm going to do the workbooks. I'm going to do the schedule, whatever. So that, as far as those responsibilities are going to vary by the class. Now, through My Tech High, you have a responsibility you have a requirement to submit a weekly learning log. And what that is, is you have a homeroom. Everybody has a homeroom on My Tech High, each student. And you're assigned a homeroom teacher, and that teacher will review your learning log. And it, it's kind of an accountability thing. I actually liked it, because it helped It helped me stay on task, and it helped me be, be accountable. It'll, your learning, your weekly learning log, it'll ask you like five or six questions, and a lot of them are checkbox or yes or no or whatever. Did you do this class this week or things like that? But then it has two areas where you type in your answer, and it'll basically say like, what did your what did your child do this week? You just have to type three to five sentences of what they did this week. We went to the zoo and we learned about the different types of animals for our science class. We worked on some math worksheets for our math class. We did this, this, this. And you just basically say what you did that week. Three to five sentences is the minimum. Um, I mean, you could type paragraphs if you want. And then the, there's a second that's optional that just basically says, you know, is there anything fun or exciting or, you know, maybe not necessarily school related that you want to share with your homeroom teacher? And that's where we would, you know, sometimes you'd say, oh, Bella learned how to do a back bend in gymnastics this week. Here's a picture, and you can upload pictures. And here's a picture of her doing her, and that's just your opportunity to kind of connect with the teacher. Um, those aren't required. It's just an option if you want to do that. And then you submit those learning logs every week. They have a due date. I, I believe it's like Monday at noon, I want to say. Monday at noon or Monday at 5. I don't remember. Um, every Monday for the week before. So, um, and then your homeroom teacher will go in and she'll, she or he will respond and they, they read your, your notes, they read what you did. And sometimes they'll have suggestions. If you say like in those bonus, you, you say, you know, so-and-so is really struggling with this and I'm trying to find a way to get them to do this more. And, uh, you know, but we, we did do this part. Sometimes your homeroom teacher will have a suggestion, hey, maybe look at this website, or have you tried this activity, or this this might work. And the, their teachers, they, they have some good suggestions. Um, so that's your learning logs. Aside from that, that's it. Like that's your, it, there, my tech high has a lot of opportunities. The, as your students are older, which again, my kids are elementary, so this doesn't really apply to us as of yet. But for older students, they have snow college options that they can do concurrent enrollment and get some college credits through My Tech High. Um, they have, a lot of times they'll do like Zooms and they'll do activities. Uh, they did a day at Lagoon this year. And so they'll do, they'll do stuff like that and they're totally optional. If you wanna participate, if you wanna log on and watch this educational Zoom, you can. They have resources as far as some software that you can download, you can have access to. Um, as a my tech high student or parent of a student um, so they're really great there's a lot of support there I definitely would recommend if you if you're interested in homeschool or you've already done homeschool and you're kind of looking at something different I would I would definitely look into my tech high last year was our first year and we absolutely loved it we're doing it again this year as far as I'm concerned we'll do it till the girls are done with school because I've been so impressed with it and it's been so amazing. So that is our review, information, tutorial, education, chit chat, soapbox, whatever you want to call it about My Tech High. Hopefully that helped and answered some of your questions and uh, please like and subscribe and follow our YouTube channel. We're going to be sharing a lot of 
lot more of our personal homeschooling activities and curriculums and things this year now that I have my feet under me a little bit better after after the first year of craziness. So uh, I hope it'll help you and you can benefit from some of our videos. Thanks for watching.